Unsolved fish kills and mysterious sores on the Susquehanna River's famed smallmouth bass has depressed anglers and prompted an unprecedented probe into the river's water quality. It also adds weight to the annual summer surveys of the numbers and health of juvenile smallmouth bass populations in the lower Susquehanna. A three-man team from the Fish and Boat Commission recently used electroshocking devices to capture, inspect, then release fingerling bass along the Wrightsville shoreline below the Route 30 bridge. It's lively yet, but it's got that white patch. It's got that white patch on the side. This one was behaving sickly. Just beginning. The fish was, was that behaving sickly. It wasn't the... Uh, it's not doing well. It's alive, but it's barely alive. Pale fungus on that one. Yeah, a patch, another patch of white right near the tail. The sampling results were mixed. Researchers found 25 fingerling bass, which is good, but eight had sores and others were sluggish, indicating they might not be healthy either. <laughs> 